we're told that Sarah spent $79.98 on materials to create custom candles. She sold 12 candles for $14 each. What was Sarah's profit from the candle sales? So pause this video, have a go at that before we do this together. So let's just remind ourselves what profit is. Profit is going to be equal to the money that you earn. Maybe I'll write that in green because that's a good thing. Money that you earn, but you probably spent some money to get that money minus the money that you spent. So let's think about the money that Sarah earned here. Well, we see here that she sold 12 candles for $14 each. So the money that she earned is going to be 12 times $14. So there's several ways we could do that, but let's just do 12 times 14. We could say four times 12. Well, I'll just do it the standard way, just to not confuse you a little bit. Four times two is eight. Four times one, it's really four times 10, is four or 40. Since we're looking at the place values, we'll put a zero here since we're going to be multiplying everything times this one now. And then one times two is two, one times one is one. Or another way to think about that, four times 12 is 48, and 10 times 12 is 120. And now we can add all of this together. Eight plus zero is eight, four plus two is six, and then we have this one here. So the total money earned is $168. And what is the money spent? Well, it says that Sarah spent $79.98. So minus $79.98. If I figure this out, I'm, I know what the total profit is. Some of you might be able to do this in your head, but I will just break this down just to make this a little bit more straightforward. So we are going to have, let me do that green color, 168.00 minus, minus 79.98. And what is this going to be equal to? Well, I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of regrouping over here. And so I am going to, well, even here this eight is less than this nine, the six is less than the seven. So let's take this hundred and put it into the tens place. So it'd be 10 tens. So if we add those 10 tens to the six tens that are already there, we get 16 tens. And now I could take one of those 16 tens, so I have 15 tens, and turn that into 10 ones. So now I have 18 ones. And then I could take one of those 18 ones, so now I have 17 ones, and turn it into 10 tenths. And then I could take one of those 10 tenths, so now I have 9 tenths, and turn it into 10 hundredths. And now I'm ready to subtract. 10 hundredths minus 8 hundredths is 2 hundredths. 9 hundredths, sorry, 9 tenths minus 9 tenths is no tenths. And then 17 ones minus 9 ones is 8. And then 15 tens minus seven tens is going to be equal to, 15 tens minus seven tens is also going to be equal to eight. And so then we have, let's see, did I do all that right? Okay, there we go. We have $88 and two cents. And I like to just double check that. If I were subtracting $80, so if I just add two cents to this, if I were to subtract $80 from this, I would get straight to $88. But I'm subtracting two cents less than that, so it makes sense that I got to $88 and two cents. Let's do another example, these are fun. So here we are told that Elena bought 15 vases for $12 each. She cleaned and polished the vases. Then she sold them for a total of $279.67. What was Elena's total profit from the vase sales? Again, pause the video, try to figure this out before we do this together. Well, just remember, profit is money earned minus money sold. So what's the money earned? Well, that's what she sold them for. She sold them for a total of $279.67. $279.67. And from that, we need to subtract the money spent. So money spent, what's the money spent? Well, she bought 15 vases for $12 each. So let's multiply 15 times 12. Two times 15 is 30. And then 10 times 15 is 150. We're going to get to 180. So you have $279.67 minus the total amount she spent, which is $180. And so this is going to be equal to, some of you, I'll do it both ways. Well, actually it gets a little complicated, so I'll just do the 
do the subtraction. So we're going to have $279.67 minus $180. That's going to give us our total profit. 7 minus 0 is 7. 6 minus 0 is 6. 9 minus 0 is 9. I could just think of 27 minus 18 is 9 and put that here. Or I could do a little bit of regrouping. Take one of these hundreds and make that into 10 tens. So 17 minus 8 is 9. And then I have no hundreds left. So I get a total profit of $99.67. Another way that you could just make sure you're in the right ballpark, if this was $280, so just a little bit more, minus $180, that would have been that would have been $100. But we are just a little bit less. We're 33 cents less than that, and so it makes sense that we're 33 cents less than $100 right over here.